homeschooling friends out in Kansas. We are about one month out from the Kansas Home Educators Expo, and I am so excited to be with you. My name is Ashley. Most of you guys know me, Ashley Grayson Grit. I've been sharing my homeschooling journey of my four kids for almost a decade on YouTube, and I am coming to share some encouragement and wisdom with you guys, and I cannot wait to meet all of you and hear your stories. I'm not bringing along any curriculum or anything to sell you guys, just truly to come and hopefully encourage your hearts and inspire you to continue to do the work that God has called you to. And I can't wait to see you guys in Kansas. April 9th. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a day in the life with you guys, and I wanna thank Cupshe for sponsoring today's video. The seasons are changing, thank you. And I am getting ready to go on a girl's trip. We've got travel coming up. And so Cupshe is my go-to for super affordable swimwear that makes you feel really good, as well as clothing, dresses. I got a super cute graphic tee. You guys know I'm the queen of graphic tees. So I'm gonna share a cup she haul with you guys in this video. As far as everything else, it's a normal homeschooling day in our house. I did get up earlier today um, and get myself ready because I obviously am filming things. Uh, the kids are downstairs doing their morning chores and making breakfast. So I'm actually gonna try um, to film a reel that I need to get done for work. I already did some posting that I needed to do, uh, which you guys saw and sent a couple of emails. So always multitasking basically from the minute that I wake up, but I am thankful and blessed to do it. So we're gonna have a full school day today. Yesterday we had a sh bit of a shortened day because we were out of town all weekend and we uh, were really exhausted. Some of my kids didn't wake up yesterday morning, which was Monday until after nine, which is not typical for them. So we all needed some rest. So we had a shortened school day yesterday and it was one of those days where I was just really thankful to homeschool because we could sleep in. We didn't have to rush off anywhere. Um, but today we're gonna be doing all the things. So. I will bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy hanging out with me. As good every time. Michelin stars are awarded every year. If a restaurant hit Michelin's mark of excellence one year, but didn't the next, the restaurant loses its Michelin star. All right, so here were my daily work tasks. I did them all, so now I can just focus on school with the kids. It is 8:40, so we are going to get started now. Have been forced to close. Thousands of people are homeless. We have no authorities, no leaders. We have no one. We have nothing. It's everyone for themselves. Meanwhile, spies who pretended to be righteous, so that they could catch him in what he said, to hand him over to the governor's rule and authority. They questioned him, teacher, we know that you speak and teach correctly, and you don't show partiality, but teach truthfully the way of God. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But detecting their craftiness, he said to them, show me a denarius. by the gorges of the Truye River while, haunting, while a haunting folk song echoed from a boat in the distance. There were other lovely memories as they had done on their honeymoon. They traveled from place to place, never planning in advance where they would even spend the night. Whenever in the next years anyone told Marie that she and Pierre worked too hard, she would say, that isn't so, we take vacations every summer. It was true. Sometimes, too, they found time in the midst of their busy work year to take a Sunday off to go out in the woods and meditate. So here is all of my cup she haul. I got a good mix of t uh, shirts, a couple of dresses that could also be cover-ups. I got some super comfy lounge shorts and of course a couple of swimsuits. So let me try all this on for you guys. So the first thing I have to share with you guys from cup she is this bathing suit that you need in your life. I am wearing a size large and I love this pattern detail on the uh, bottom there. I love the color block. I love the hot pink. It does have adjustable straps. It's very comfy, very supportive. Guys from Cup she is another 10 out of 10 winner. This is a beautiful hunter green color 
it does have a front lined seam. It's got a higher uh, neckline here as well as the square neckline, which I love. I think it's so pretty. It does lace up in the back and it is a full coverage bottom. I feel very good in this, very supportive. It is good quality. The material is not thin. I think this swimsuit is something everyone is going to want and love. I think it came in other colors too, but I absolutely love this hunter green color. I absolutely love from Cup She is this adorable romper. It's one of my favorite colors right now, which is like that sand kind of tannish color. I'm wearing it with a sandal, but it's got front pockets. The sleeves come down nice and low. It's got a high neckline in the front, but it's got a very cute, I wish I could show you, um, V drop in the back. You could throw this on to wear. You could throw it over a swimsuit. I love rompers. Just one piece, throw it on and you're good to go. So, so comfy. I did size up to a large for length. I'm glad that I did. And I just think this is super comfy and cute. For So spring. the next thing that I have to share with you guys from Cup She is this adorable kind of like gauze almost like gauze linen um, flutter sleeve dress. It did come in the other color. It had another color, I should say, that was sage green. That was actually my first choice, but I got the cream when the green sold out. So check back and see if the green is in stock because it was so, so cute. I love the defined waistline here, the seams. It's very lightweight. I love the flutter sleeve, very flattering. You can um, pull it up onto the shoulder or you could wear it a little more off the shoulder, up to you. The back is adorable. It has a large tie back and the length is good. I did size up to a large in this and I am 5'8", so, you know, give or take a few inches if you're shorter or taller. All right, you guys, the next thing that I wanna share with you is a summer spring staple and that is comfy shorts breathable that you can throw on over a tank top or after you come home from the pool and you just want to put on something comfy for the day these are it so they have this stretchy waistband you can wear it over a tight fitting tank or you can put it over a you know bodysuit whatever you want to do super cute good length flowy breathable and so so comfy and we all love the high waist all right guys if you watch my channel you know i am a graphic tee girl through and through and i absolutely love this one from cup she i just untucked it so you could see it um, it says enjoy the sunshine and I love the flowers and the blue. I love that this is not 100% cotton, so it's not clingy, it's not sweaty. I can already tell you this is going to be one of my favorite graphic tees for spring and summer. And it's got that nice off-white color, super good sleeve length. Love, love, love the graphic tee. Threw on some sandals, some denim shorts. It's a full outfit and I feel super cute in it. So yeah, love graphic tees and denim shorts always and forever. So if you guys wanna shop any of what you just saw for my cup sheet spring haul, I do have a discount code that will get you 15% off of your order of $65 or more. And I also have another discount code that will get you 20% off if you spend $109 or more. All the information is down below in the description box as well as the direct links to everything you saw in my haul, my sizing, height, weight, all that good stuff is down below for reference. I know it can be kind of helpful sometimes to see and to understand that um, not all of us are 115 pounds airbrushed models. Like let's, let's show real women. I'm a fan of that. So anyway, all that information will be down below for you guys if you want to check out anything you saw in my haul and you can save yourself some money with those discounts and links. Everything's in the description box.
Richard cried. I am thoroughly grateful for this obvious blessing. Richard cried. I am thoroughly grateful for this obvious blessing. Mama? Yes. Um, All right, it is about 12 o'clock now and we are taking our lunch break. Um, we've been working hard on school all morning and we'll still have some to finish up after lunchtime. Um, in the midst of homeschooling, just because I always like to share, you know, like what is actually going on? Every day is not just like a peaceful, um, you know, where I can just sit there and be just totally focused and present. So. Um, while, while we were working on school, I got email, an email that my daughter's dance studio's summer registration for classes open and to get the classes you want, you have to like be quick with it because they will cap the classes at like, whoa, are you okay? Yeah. A certain number of girls. Um, so I had to immediately pause and register for summer classes. Then I got notification that my PayPal password had to be reset um, because there was like some security thing that happened. And so I had to go on a desktop and reset my PayPal. That was time sensitive because my business stuff is all run through PayPal. And then I got an, a message on Instagram from um, my contact at Kansas Home Educators, where I'm going to speak, uh, reminding me slash informing me for the first time because I thought it didn't apply to me, uh, that I'm going to have a booth at the Home Educators Expo that needs to be decorated and like a place for me to sell things. So, you know, normally when you go to a homeschool convention as a speaker, you know, you might have a curriculum or a book you've written. And so you'll set that out for everyone to purchase. But I am unique in the fact that I do not sell anything to you guys. I don't, I mean, I have a few printables on my website, but I'm just not interested right now anyway in, um, selling things. So when I read that in the contract, I just thought that that didn't apply to me. Well, it turns out that I do have a booth. So now with less than 30 days to go, I need to figure out <laughs> what I'm going to put there because I'm going to be sitting there and I don't want to just be sitting with a black backdrop. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out. So anyway, um, that was all unloaded on me like right now. And so I'm going to heat up my lunch and try to figure out how I'm gonna throw together a grace and grit booth uh, with nothing to sell in 30 days, less than 30 days. So yeah, that's what was going on. And while that was all going on, I briefly put in my sourdough um, that I had uh, on the counter overnight because I wanted to have fresh sourdough for Easter um, dinner on Sunday. So at least my sourdough turned out good. But now I'm a little overwhelmed because I'm flying to Kansas. I, I can only bring a limited amount of stuff. I don't really know what I'm gonna do besides just sit there and talk to people, which is fine. But yeah, it just, I'm like, ugh, I don't like last minute things and this feels very last minute. I don't even know that I have enough time to like get a banner printed of my logo. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get creative here. So we'll see what I come up with, but lunch first. All right, so I am going to have a chicken Caesar salad and drink my water and try to figure out um, what I'm going to do for this booth now. Um, trying to figure out things like this stresses me out, like I already said, but I'm sure it'll end up great. So now I just need to come up with a game plan and it's just hard for me to focus when I'm doing nine things at once. So hopefully once I'm done um, with school, then I'll be able to think about this and come up with something good. So here's some ideas. Oh, it worked. QR code. 
I just taught myself something new. Loadable QR codes. It worked? Mm-hmm. Wow. And my helper here. She's gonna paint this. So, all right. We're making progress. So far we have garlands, fake flowers, tablecloths, a banner, an iPad playing my videos on a cake stand, QR codes to all these things. All right, we're making progress. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys relate to this, but anytime I have something like on my mind, I find it really hard to focus um, on school. So I wanted to see if I could actually get these QR code things to work so that I can put them in frames and they actually are working. So that is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna make a coffee real quick and then we're gonna finish up with science today. Um, I think you need toothpicks and Play-Doh. Um, we're on lesson number six in chemistry on elements, atoms, and molecules. This is from The Good and the Beautiful, and then this will be the last thing that she does today. My older two are done, and my younger son is just finishing up, or he just finished up, and I just have a few things to grade for him. So um, getting everything done, um, and it's about one o'clock, so feeling feeling like I'm on the right track here. I know that this probably doesn't seem like that big of a deal to you guys, but to me, um, the feeling of being unprepared and not uh, like adequate is something that I really don't like the feeling of. So I'm feeling better about this now. And then my older daughter was putting things in my Amazon cart for me that she thought would work. So I'll look through that later. Um, so I appreciate the fact that this was actually relatively easy to do. So if you guys ever need QR codes, I'll share the website, myqrcode.com. And I did pay $1.95, but at least it's done. I'm going to make a shake and espresso. So that's exactly what it sounds like. I put ice in the protein shaker first, then the espresso on top, and then some oat milk. And you just shake it, shake it up. And then I will put a tiny little tablespoon of this inside it just because I feel like having some of that. So um, that's a at home shaken espresso. Page six in your student journal. So I want you to follow along and answer the questions at the bottom of the page as we discover the answers, okay? So examine the beautiful buildings in this painting right here. What materials do you think were needed to build the structures in this image? Bricks, wood, glass. Bricks, wood, glass, anything else? Cement, stone. Okay to represent the hydrogen. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions and then we'll do it. With another color, we're gonna form five large-sized spheres to represent the oxygen. With the last color, we're gonna form one large-sized sphere, sphere to represent carbon. The difference in sizes should not be great. Notice the image of hydrogen peroxide the blue circle is only slightly larger than the tan. And the toothpick.
I've received a few requests from people to talk about the dogs. Will you take off their collars because it says my phone number on it. Pull them over there. So I was gonna bring my doggies into the video to share them with you and I'm gonna try to talk about them in a normal tone of voice. Walter, oh, so gross. Okay, so let's start with Dorothy. Her is my girl. Yeah, her is. I knew if I sat on the floor, they would swarm me. Okay, so Dorothy is a purebred basset hound. She is black and white. Turn around, show your face. Show this camera this face. Oh, this is a good face. See this face? It's so sweet. Um, she is seven years old, and we got her when she was a puppy. Um, I actually had never even had like an affinity for basset hounds or anything but when i met her i fell in love with her um she was so cuddly and so calm and um so we decided to bring dorothy home to be a playmate for our puggle lucy who i'll show you here in a second because she is like a super hyperactive dog and we thought that they would play together. They did play a little bit together when Dorothy was a puppy, but then they they really never played together um, too much. Oh, there's Lucy. <laughs> um, so come here, Lucy. Lucy. Dorothy, come here. Lucy, come here. So Lucy is a real spastic animal. She's a puggle. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she's a puggle, which is half pug and half beagle. Uh, we got Lucy, she's 10 years old. This dog is 10. <laughs> she's 10. This is not a normal action for a 10 year old dog. Um, we got her when my youngest daughter, Olivia, was only two years old. So she's, her and Dorothy have both been like the kids, um, their childhood dogs. So we got Lucy, for the kids, um, it was in February, but we like bought her from the breeder in December and she wasn't gonna be ready to leave her mom until uh, February. Oh, Walter just gave you guys a kiss. So we got Lucy because Jake and I previously had another puggle whose name was Frankie when we were very first married. And unfortunately, Frankie had a um, genetic, like defect with his kidneys and he died really really young he was only like two years old it was really sad it was probably one of the hardest days of my life because jake was on graveyard and so i had to do it and it was just terrible and it was very sudden so anyway we um loved how he was he was like so cute and he just had a lot of personality but he was kind of crazy uh, very active would chew things up and stuff and so we thought maybe it was just him so we thought about getting another puggle for the kids because when they were little you know it was a medium-sized dog puggles aren't too big so you you need to train them but like it's not like a big dog that was gonna jump on them and knock them over or something like that and they're easy to manage pretty low maintenance as far as grooming and stuff goes, just basic nail tri trimmings and baths and that kind of thing. So we got Lucy um, because we thought that that would be good. Well, I can confirm now that the breed of a Puggle, which is a Pug and a Beagle mixed together, is a crazy breed of dog. Uh, when Lucy passes away, which hopefully that's not for many more years, uh, we will not be getting another one, so she will be the last one. And it's not because she's a bad dog, but she just is, she's, she's annoying, I guess is the best way I can describe it. She loves to shred our toilet paper rolls in our bathrooms like a cat. So we, I mean, we've had toilet paper strewn over our whole upstairs before. She likes to eat the Q-tips out of the trash can. Um, she jumps on top of the table like a billy goat if you leave your food unattended and She's like she knows not to do it in front of us. She's very smart, but she is just an annoying dog And now she's an old lady. So she's getting some old lady dog issues uh, We had to put her on a specialized diet for her kidneys and that like breathed new life into her She felt revived after that 
Um, the kids absolutely love her. I love her too. I mean, she's been a part of our family for 10 years. Um, but the breed of a puggle is a little bit nuts. So I personally prefer the breed of basset hounds like this one here um, because they are lazy, cuddly, smushy, funny, loyal dogs. I mean, this dog loves me almost more than my own children. <laughs> She is like depressed when I leave. She follows me where I go. Walter, my other one, does too. Um, but I've never been someone who has like a preference for a dog breed, but a basset hound is it. And through the years of sharing on YouTube, I've actually had people reach out to me and say that they got a basset hound because I um, just rave about them. I just love them. I think they're the best dogs ever. Uh, they're pretty low maintenance as far as taking care of them too. They just need regular baths. Their ears do tend to get infected more often because look at the size of these things. Um, and they need nail trimming. A lot of you guys will hear them in the background of my video. They get their nails trimmed often, but they, the minute that those nails are touching my wood floor, you can hear it. So they do need regular nail trimming. They like walking, but not for super far distances. And the biggest thing with Basset Hounds is that you have to keep their weight under control because they are basically a larger dog on very small legs. <laughs> um, but they're just the best. They have so much personality. I can't describe it to you on a camera. You have to know them. So we had Dorothy and Lucy, and then we had um, Walter. Walter, come here. So Walter is a four-year-old Basset Hound. He is a boy. Um, I would show you guys him, but he's a boy and he's feeling a little excited, so let's wait for that to subside. Um, but I love Walter. Look at these paws. See, these are good ones. Come here, Walty. He is such a baby. Come here. Look, right into the lap. See, I knew he would do it. So Walter is a four-year-old boy basset hound and he is brown and black and white. This is called like calico and he is so funny. This dog thinks he's a lap dog. As you can see, he will sit right on my lap. He is scared of everything known to man, um, but he, I'm not kidding, like Amazon trucks, garbage trucks, um, boxes. Um, what else is he afraid of? Can you think of anything? I think birds too. Birds, like anything Lizard. sudden, lizards. Um, he's just a big baby. So he is definitely the baby of the house. He knows he is and he, again, follows me wherever I go. He lays at my feet. He loves tummy rubs. He sleeps on his back. So he's not like a typical male dog that, you know, is like fighting for dominance. He is very happy to be just snuggled. And I mean, he will literally let me do anything to him. So we got him because I love Dorothy so much and I needed another one. And I love having two. Uh, so this guy right here is a snuggle dog. And he's like this because when he was a baby, I literally, <laughs> I literally would hold him all day long and he would lay on me and see like, he's not tiny anymore. He's probably like close to 50 pounds and he, him and Dorothy do play together. So it's really cute to see two Basset Hounds playing together. Um, he keeps Dorothy active because she is seven and he is only four um, and they love each other a lot. They had a rough start. They had a rough start. Dorothy was not about it. Um, but now they're very bonded and they love each other. And, uh, so Lucy kind of like hangs out to the side and they'll play, but neither one of them play with Lucy, the puggle, which is kind of funny. Walter tries, um, and Lucy will like entertain it briefly, but they don't play the same way as two of the same breed. So he's a super easy dog. He was so easy to train. Um, he's very well behaved. They both are. Uh, Bassets, people will say they're stubborn. Um, I wouldn't say stubborn. I would say like Dorothy needs some coercing sometimes to like go upstairs when it's time to go to bed and she doesn't feel like going upstairs. But for the most part, they're very obedient dogs. They're easy to train. They don't cause destruction in your house. They do shed. Um, 
which my pants are absolutely covered right now. But other than that, they're very easy, low maintenance, loving, loving dogs. And so I just think that they're the best. I love them so much. I mean, how can you not? Look at the camera, Walty. Show those ears. See these ears? And here's Dorothy. So that's a little bit about them. We got Walter when he was a puppy too. Um, Dorothy and Walter both came from breeders in Missouri. Um, at first we were wondering like, are they siblings? But no, they were not siblings. Um, they're both purebred Bassets, but they're different. Like Walter is taller, but smaller. Dorothy weighs more than him, but she's shorter. So it's kind of funny to see. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about them. They're the best dogs ever. We, I love them. I'm probably always going to have Basset Hounds, but I don't like to think about that because that means that these two won't be here anymore. And they're the whole reason why I love them to begin with. So um, if you guys are looking or were wondering about our dogs, that's the story of our pups. Um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, did have a rescue dog we found that ended up staying with us for a while. Uh, she was a stray and her owners like did not want her back and that was the whole thing. So uh, we had her for a few years and um, that was, she was difficult because she was abused and neglected and all the things, but she passed away, what, two years ago? So she's, uh, she passed away about two years ago. So we have the three now and these will be the three that remain for many, <laughs> many years, hopefully. Um, but yeah, a bunch of people were asking about the dogs, so I wanted to kind of give you guys a little lowdown on our dogs. Um, and let me just show you exactly what I was talking about with Walter. So we call him a puddle of goo because he just flops down wherever, usually in a, in a location that is very inconvenient for you. And he's just a baby. And um, Dorothy is demanding. Her paws will tell you to pet her. I want to see if she'll do it. See? See how she's doing that to my legging? She's saying, pet me. Dorothy. She does have allergies. That's one thing. Some Bassets do get allergies. So sometimes she needs to take an allergy pill certain times of year because it starts to affect her skin. But Walter does not have allergies. So it's just weird. She's she's allergic to something but they do shed you can see Walter also has longer fur than Dorothy so even though they're the same breed um, Dorothy's fur is more I don't know like slick and Walter is more fuzzy so even though they're the same breed dog they are a little bit different but that's a little bit about the dogs do you think I covered it well yes you did any other things no Nope. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Um, when Walter was a puppy, he did like to eat rocks and, and that socks. and socks. And uh huh. And so we had to have a home remedy to induce vomiting a few times. Um, but he outgrew that, so that's good. And Dorothy has always had a very nasty habit, and we'll just leave it at that. We don't want to embarrass the girl. No, her is a good girl. All right, so I just ordered a few things from Amazon for my booth and hopefully it'll all work out. I tried to order things that I thought I could use again, um, maybe for speaking in the future again or just in general for like graduation parties and different things. So I got some sage table runners. I got a tablecloth. I got some flickering candles to create a little ambiance. I got the big canvas thing for my daughter to paint um that is not for them i just had that in my cart for my boys um the plastic acrylic things for the qr codes the candle stands i got a bunch of um like placemats and then i got some more clear stands and then tan um tablecloths so i grabbed pretty much everything um except like fake flowers and garlands. So I'll probably have to go to like Hobby Lobby or something, but I don't have time for that today. I am on to the next thing of the day, which is gonna be getting some chili going for dinner. So I already chopped the vegetables yesterday when I was cutting some other things. 
and I have some carrots here. So I'm gonna get and brown up the, where's the, um, some organic ground beef to make just regular chili for dinner. I wonder why you're there till 9.30. Up so you can come home and just like get right into bed and not have to do that. Huh? You should do that so you can just come home, shower, get right into bed. Do you know why you're working till 9 30? No, it alternates. Like sometimes we close at 8 30, sometimes we close at 9 30. It's been 9.30 because of high school swim, so everything's pushed back an hour. Mm -hmm. so this is the drawing I did today. Very pretty. Thank you. I really like using those sharp. Sliced up the sourdough. I actually decided to serve that tonight with the chili and got the chili all together. Super simple. Just garlic, chili powder, black pepper, um, bell pepper, white onion, carrots. Sauteed that up, then added the organic ground beef browned that and then added organic tomato sauce, fire roasted tomatoes, two cans of chili beans in the sauce, and a cup or two of water to thin it out. And um, now I'm gonna let it simmer on the stove so that I can go run an errand that I need to run and then dinner will be ready. My oldest just left for work. My boys are upstairs having some free time She's doing some Easter nails, and then it will be off for dinner and activities tonight. So that's going to be it for this day in the life, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the links to Cup Sheet down below. Don't forget, you can save 15% off your order of 65 or more with my code. Or if you saw a bunch of things that you want, you can use Cup Sheet Fan 20 um, off of orders 100 and nine dollars I think uh, all the information will be down below as well as the direct links to everything that you guys saw in this haul for ease um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys again soon bye